Charles Davis. Nearly four decades while he was the city clerk, Charles Davis costed the taxpayers of Compton millions of dollars in repeated sexual harassment lawsuits. During this time as city clerk, and currently while at the school district, he's still preying on women and racking up costly lawsuits at our expense. There's a member of your board that owes the city about $1.2 million. That's what he's cost this city in lawsuits, in sexual harassment suits. In one case, the same person twice. Now, I'm asking this board to police this individual because there's some rumors in the community about a few principals. And I'm speaking to Mr. Davis. And I'm asking you all. We also found court testimony where Mr. Davis was asked about this and he said he had gallbladder surgery and couldn't remember. So if he can't remember then, how can we expect him to remember sitting on this board? It's time to stop Charles Davis. Time's up on allowing a known and documented predator from being over our kids and continuing his tradition of harassment, racking up costly lawsuits, and finding ways to pocket our tax dollars. Charles Davis is a longtime Compton resident who served as the city clerk for 30 years, from 1979 to 2003. How was Charles able to hold an elected position for 30 years? By voter fraud, that's how. He was able to manipulate votes by using fake provisional ballots and using deceased registered voters. The city clerk is one who is in charge of counting ballots during election time. In 2001 mayoral election, Charles Davis allegedly lost 27 ballot boxes. The court ordered Charles Davis to find the ballot boxes. The 27 ballot boxes were found and Perrodin defeated Omar Bradley. We are most certain that ballots were removed from the 27 boxes. Charles Davis took advantage of being a city clerk. He bought many properties throughout the city of Compton during his 30-year tenure. Charles had purchased homes and commercial buildings for pennies on the dollar. Charles knew if he bought the commercial properties that the city would eventually have to purchase the property from him at market value, way more than what he paid. City of Compton council members and staff sometimes may have to travel to handle the city's business and First Choice Travel Agency handled all of the flights, hotel and rental cars. Charles Davis was in charge of all city travel itineraries while he was the Compton city clerk. Charles Davis took the opportunity to enrich himself by using First Choice Travel Agency, which he owned. 
to book flights, hotels, and rental cars. Make sure to vote no on Charles Davis. Stay tuned as we have more investigative reports on the failing Compton Unified School District. Please subscribe to our channel.